So when it has such deep emotions, if you kill it, it's like killing a human being, it's murder or it's cannibalism. So because of that, this is not a faith thing, mm. this is not a religious thing. We thought this is a fundamental sense. Why… You see, when we are hungry, why can't I cut you up and eat you? What's wrong? Now, when it comes to food, what it means is, we are taking another life, whatever that is, it may be plant life, animal life, whatever. You're taking another life, ingesting it and you have to make it your life, that's the whole thing. What is your life, what is that life, if you look at it? All life on this planet is coming from the earth. This body is also the same soil, this is also same soil, if there is an earthworm, that is also same soil. But see how it has become, how this has become, how that has become. If you eat a, ma a mango, this mango becomes a woman in you. If I eat a mango, the same mango becomes a man in me. If a cow eats a mango, the same mango becomes a cow in the cow. Why is this happening? There is a certain information or software in you, whatever you eat, it transforms it into a woman. If I eat, it transforms it to a man. If a cow eats, that becomes a cow. So every life is happening the way it is happening because of a certain dimension of information or in modern terminology, let's call it software. There mm. is a certain software, mm. which is an arrangement of information. Mm. Now, the idea is to eat as simple a software as possible. If you eat that kind of life, which is a very simple software, your ability to override that software and make it entirely a part of you is very good. As that software gets com complex, more yes. and more complex, yes. your ability to integrate it goes down. So especially if it's a creature which has some sense of thought and emotion, if it has emotion, then you should not eat it. This is the understanding. Mm. An animal which has any emotion, displays certain emotions, especially if it displays emotion which is near to human emotion, you should not eat it because it will not integrate itself, that animal nature will start manifesting itself. Cow is one creature, if something happens to you and you are in some kind of grief or misery, you don't have to be near the cow. Wherever the cow is in your house, it will st it'll start shedding tears for you. You know, I've seen this with my eyes, I couldn't believe. When somebody is dead in the house, it… what does a cow know it is somewhere? Simply tears flowing. So when it has such deep emotions, if you kill it, it's like killing a human being, it's murder or it's cannibalism. So because of that, this is not a faith thing, mm. this is not a religious thing. We thought this is a fundamental sense. Why… You see, when we are hungry, why can't I cut you up and eat you? What's wrong? What's wrong but what, but what you're saying should be about many more animals than just the yes, cow. Yes, of course. And yes, cow. yes, of course. And yes, cow. yes, of course. And go vegan, go vegan, go vegan, go vegan, go. Plant based bigness, 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 bigness. Vegan lifestyle and fitness, fitness, fitness.